Hello, my name is Richard Tamayo, and I give God and the Holy Spirit all the praise for teaching me God's Word. Today we're going to be talking about stoning, a form of judgment. Now, Moses, when he got the Ten Commandments written on two tablets of stone, when God told him to go back down the mountain because the people of Israel were defiling themselves and worshiping false idols because they had made a golden calf, when Moses came down, he threw the two stone tablets at the people because that is a representation of stoning the Ten Commandments and the stone he was stoning the people the people of Israel because they made the golden calf broke the two laws and you shall have no other gods before me that's one commandment and you shall not make idols that's a second commandment and that's in Exodus chapter 31 18 and Exodus chapter 32 verse 1 through 20. The people of Israel judged by stoning. Now in the story in the book of Joshua when God sent the people to go against the certain people he said do not take anything do not take the gold and the silver but there was a man named Achan who takes the gold silver gold and the silver which he coveted and he said thou shall not covet that's one of the commandments of the Ten Commandments and Achan and his family were stoned in the book of Joshua, chapter 10, verse 19 through 25. They were stoned because he coveted the silver and the gold after God had told him not to. And because he did that, the people of Israel lost that battle and many people died. Do not defy God's law. Now a woman caught in adultery, adultery meaning one of the Ten Commandments, that shall not commit adultery, was about to be stoned and she was brought to Jesus by the leaders of the Pharisees and the scribes, the leaders of Israel. They brought him to Jesus. Now God laid in my heart, when Jesus bent down and to write on the ground, he bent down twice and God showed me that Jesus, with the finger of God, was stooping down onto the stone, onto the ground which is made of stone and was writing the Ten Commandments. The first time he bent down, five commandments. The second time he bent down, another five commandments. So that the people of Israel, the leaders, could say the, the one who has no sin against them, let him cast the first stone. Well, none of them could when they read the Ten Commandments that were written with the finger of God, the finger of Jesus on the ground and they walked off. And that's in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 3 through 11. God judges the foundation of the economy. The economy is what governments stand on. That is the foundation of every government and every kingdom is the economy, the wealth. And he stones, now check this out, this is awesome. When King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream of this image, the image was gold, silver, brass, iron, clay, and it depicted the kingdoms because it says that the gold represented King Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom. Well, it says that a stone was taken without hand, a stone was taken from a mountain, and it was thrown and bashed up against the statue, the image of gold, silver, clay, and brass. This is God stoning the kingdoms and judging the kingdoms with the stone that he is stoning that statue that represents these kingdoms. In Daniel chapter 2, verse 31 through 45. People, we are in the times. Get in the word.